Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Karen Cody is joining me now from ASU Cultural Affairs, and we are talking about the speaker that you have coming up. We are talking about the speaker. Tomorrow it's night. the Foreign Affairs Speakers Program. It's a it's a it's a great program that I've been a part of since 2003, which is really the inception of it. Uh, we've had a couple of remarkable gentlemen who have made this program possible. Uh, uh, James Holland, who was the dean, actually he was the dean who hired me <laughs> in 2001. Uh, he and his wife Bobby are still very active uh, here in town. And then Roy Harrell, who was a, a, a career foreign service uh, officer in Africa. And wow. uh, so he was the one, and he was from Ozona. So my mother taught him typing his senior year of high school. And is he still working with he you now? He has passed away, uh -oh. uh, but he worked with us uh, up until uh, uh, up until the end. And wow. so we continue uh, to honor these two remarkable fellows, uh, who who did some graduate work together up in Washington D.C. And so they're really very committed to the role of foreign affairs. Uh, and they want to bring the best speakers to the Contra Valley. And, and so tomorrow we do that. you have a big one. Tomorrow night. It is a big one. It, 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 it's remarkable because we, we pick the topic uh, about a year. We pick, we pick the speaker say, about a year in advance. It? Like, how do you decide there's a, on there's what? A, there's a great uh, committee, and we're from uh, a bunch of different disciplines. Uh, and we think about what's been going on and what we haven't heard about lately. Uh, and where we think things might be going. And then, uh, as generous as these two gentlemen have been, we do have a, a budget. Uh, <laughs> and so we can't cough up, you know, $100,000 yeah. for a speaker. And they don't come for free. They, they really don't. <laughs> uh, but uh, we get remarkable speakers who are really uh, uh, very uh, experienced. Uh, this, this fellow here, uh, Earl Anthony Wayne, uh, is fairly recently retired, 2015, and he uh, 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 has the uh, office of career ambassador, so he retired with top honors. Uh, has all other kinds of uh, honors, but uh, what did he do during his career? Well, he he has served, and and the neat thing about the foreign service is. It is not uh, according to political party. It is not according to presidency or regime in another country. Uh, they're, they're really following the best of public policy. Uh, and some of them have an economic specialty and some of them have a political specialty. They have different ones. But this guy served in uh, Western Europe for quite some time. So he also still advises uh, on some of the European Union and, and oh, trade wow. kinds of things. But his most recent, uh, and, and the majority of his honors, and what he's coming to talk about, has been on uh, Mexico. So uh, um, he, he has been associated in the Foreign Service with Mexico for a number of years. He still does consulting with uh, NAFTA. He's on the Woodrow Wilson uh, board, uh, which is one of the m most respected in the United States. So do you know what he's going to be talking about? So he's going to be talking about the relationship between the United States and Mexico and why it's so important to get it right. And it's a big he topic. Will be, <laughs> it is. He will be all over campus uh, tomorrow, but his, uh, his uh, talk that is free and open to the public uh, that we encourage everyone to come to is at 6 o'clock. It's in the C.J. Davidson Center. Parking right there uh, outside of the University Center is free there off of Rosemont and Dina. Um, but we do encourage everyone to come at 6 and to uh, listen to his talk, he will have uh, uh, been visiting with different uh, groups all over campus. But uh, there's always an open question and answer uh, wow. time. So that's your opportunity to get to get the, the the straight scoop from somebody who doesn't have a dog in that in that race anymore. You know, uh, he doesn't have to please any particular. Uh, U.S. president <laughs> or Mexican and president. And this is happening tomorrow at 6. Tomorrow, Do they need tickets or they just o'clock. show up? It is just show up. It's free. We will be happy to have everyone there. Tomorrow at 6 p.m., another big event that's happening at ASU. It's completely free, so go and see this amazing speaker. Stay tuned. I'll be back with the guys from Nukes.